اخبار رکھنے والا اخبار اجن سپیکر امینس فرا یو سیلف دی فراغ اف وٹ از دی بوتس کپ وٹ دی مینس فن سائڈ افریکا کرائی اصل نہ ہیری ڈبٹ کائی ہیری از دی رات سال وار دی ویت فن دی لاند گماک ورت دی ویت وٹ اونس فر واخ دی دی کیسر فن سائڈ افریکا موت خور سان مر وٹ از دی بوتس کپ وٹ دی کیسر کرائی as hulle gaan kyk na die opening van die parlement in hierdie debat, en hulle sien dat geskille en verskille word opgelos door op mekaar te skree, op mekaar te vloek, en om met geweld verweider te word. Is het dan nie verbazend, dat die mens soms kaam is om te sê, jy is een parlementslid nie. En ek wil vandag vir die mense van Suid-Afrika sê, ek vraag verskoning, vir die gedrag van sommige parlementslede. Achbare adjungspeaker, the honorable minister in the presidency said that we must find our moral compass. I agree. But who is the needle of this moral compass? The needle of the moral compass is none other than the number one citizen of South Africa, the president, Mr. Zuma. So at least that it is an admittance that the president has lost its moral compass. Honorable president, if you break the constitution and you can only stand up to the people of South Africa and say, I apologize, how can you expect the people of South Africa to abide the laws of the country? Because if they contravene the laws of the country, they can stand up and say, I apologize. That is why we have the crime rates in South Africa, what we have. You are the person who is supposed to set the example. Are you then surprised if you see that people show to the people of South Africa that if you have the correct connections, then you can bring in private people from outside the country in a private jet and you can land on a military base. Just ensure you have the right connections. Are you then surprised, Honorable President, that people then say, I can do what I want and wish, what I wish to do as long as I have the right connections? The needle of the moral compass is indeed wrong. And you must take full responsibility for that, Honorable President. You are the root cause of what we are having in South Africa. If I refer to your policy or your radical socio-economic uh, transformation, Honorable President, you just said what the ANC said in their Lakhotla, that you want to replace a capitalist economy, economy with a governed, managed, develop, developmental economy. What does that mean? <coughs> we must go and look at your track record, because what you are actually saying, if you want that type of government managed economy, what did you do with the public enterprises? The government is in control of those, those public enterprises. What happened to the SAA? What happened to SA Express? What happened to ESCOM? I can tell you, Honorable President, if that is going to happen, then the economy is going to be bankrupt. There's a point of order. Can a member take a question? Chairperson, I only have five minutes. I can't waste time on questions. What I want to say, Honorable Deputy uh, Speaker, I want to say to the honor, Honorable President, if you want economic growth to create jobs, put a moratorium on black economic empowerment and affirmative action, then you will get the growth. Lastly, Honorable President, what do you have against white people in South Africa? Every 
time there's something wrong, you blame the white people of South Africa. You're using the white on people of South of Africa on a of order. smoke point screen of order. On a point of to order. hide your own oh. inabilities on a point and of incompetencies. Order. That is on what point of order. Order. You must say where you stand with the white point people of, of South Africa. Honorable Are you then on the point of order, order. President? Honorable on the point of you order. Have 11 on people have murdered order. in this month alone no. on our farms. No. Did you say anything about it? Honorable Member, your time has expired. It is a shame. I say it is a shame. Honorable Member, your time has expired. Misusing white people for your own inabilities.